Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Pulp, and welcome back to another Building Toronto Extras video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at another sort of fun event in, his in the history of the Building Toronto map, and uh, sort of just letting you guys who are new to the channel know about some of the great things, great times we've had on the map, and uh, yeah, that kind of stuff like that. And so, uh, once again, Fairmont Royal York still isn't done. We're still working away on it. It's it's taking a lot longer than expected is because the bottom floors of the building are quite unique and so um, we had to do them all by hand we can't just world edit them down and so we've got two uh, floors remaining on the Fairmont hopefully they'll be done by next week but um, I thought in the meantime I do another building Toronto extras video uh, showing you some of the cool things that we've done in Toronto in today's video as you can already see um, is we're <laughs> what we'll call the the Toronto 500 I guess um, so back when the server was still or back when the map was still connected to the Need to Craft server and not on a standalone um, IP, we frequently had events inside the Toronto world uh, just because the map was super flat, which helped us plan out for certain events, and this was one of them. So I, uh, I had recently just finished a big addition on the map and wanted to sort of update uh, players on the progress and showcase it to the people who don't normally check out the map. And so what we decided to do uh, was hold this race on uh in in the toronto map and so i set up a little course and uh, we had a car or we had a vehicles plug-in at the time which is a super cool plug-in unfortunately it's not uh it's out of date now and so we can't have it anymore but there was a vehicles plug-in that let us have cars and trains and boats and all these cool things um custom boats not regular boats obviously the game has those and so we set up a race uh through the downtown streets of toronto and uh, so this is sort of what you see in the background right now. And it's a pretty fun time. Uh, there was some good close quarters racing for a bit. And there was also some uh, some good crashes as well and all that kind of stuff. And uh, afterwards, we did some boat racing as well. But it was sort of uh, showing a lot of the fun stuff we could do on the map. And, and it's um, something that I, I hope one day we can get back to on the Toronto map. Because obviously, the building a part of it's important. But the community part of this map was something that really makes it quite enjoyable. And so... Um, that is really all there is to, to talk about about the map, but I guess one thing we can do in this video uh, is sort of talk about the plans or my plans going forward on uh, on the Toronto map and how I plan on proceeding um, for forward to like as we build the world. And so, um, as you know, I'm I'm working on the Fairmont Royal York right now. That's not a secret. Um, I'm working on it for almost six months, so it is taking quite a while to finish. But uh, just because I haven't had as much time to build as I used to. Which is fine. Um, so the Fairmont should be done soon, and after that, I'm going to either uh, I have a couple small things, small tasks to finish, but the main thing we want to do is fill in all of the different city blocks that are currently outstanding on the map. Um, so there's the place for Scotia Plaza, the place for uh, First Canadian Place. Um, there's some stuff a little bit out on the east end of the map that I want to finish up, and so the plan is to finish all those things first. Some of those projects are actually quite small, so I'll be able to knock them off rather quickly, which is good. Other ones will take a little bit longer to do. Uh, things like Scotia Plaza, First Canadian Place are quite substantial builds. Luckily for us, they are substantial, but they are quite uh, symmetrical and quite uh, similar in height all the way up. So we'll be able to build those rather quickly, to be completely honest, um, compared to some of the other builds. So that is a good, uh, a good thing for sure, that we can uh, sort of get those done. Once I'm done the Fairmont Royal York, we can sort of work on, uh, on those builds and get those up finished up quite quickly and, and so going forward obviously um the scotia plaza has been a build that's been requested for quite a long time um and i just haven't been able to get to it and, and so i do want to try and get that done as soon as uh we're done the fairmont i have a couple of small things like i said to fix one of them is the rbc plaza is not the right height so i want to fix that uh, it was one of the first buildings i did on the map and and actually you can see it if you look on the screen uh the top part of the screen the gold colored glass that's the rbc plaza right there um and while I'm on that topic, thank you to Starbound for providing me this footage. This was way back in 2018, and he was able to dig up some footage that he filmed of way back then. But it's kind of a cool view for you guys to see how much less was done at that time compared to what we have done now. Um, obviously, the east end of the map, which we're not showcasing in this part of the, in this track, um, was was not done at all. There was no east end of the map yet. So that's the biggest difference between then and now. Uh, we've worked east quite a bit, but... Um, uh, like I said, the plan going forward is to finish up the, the open city blocks. Once that's done, I think what we're going to do next is start working on the underground. Um, probably the subway. I want to do a little bit more work on that. Obviously, we have King Station 
but we don't have anything else. And so uh, whether we start on Union, I mean, Union Station is a tough one to start on. I do want to start on it, but the problem is that it's not actually built in real life yet. It's, it's being renovated. It's been renovated for the past, I think, eight years they've been working on it. And it's almost done, finally. But it's not, um, like, it, it's hard to get, for new builds, it's hard to get pictures or accurate pictures of what's happening, right? Because as you, if you don't know, most of the building stuff we do, we go off of Google Maps and Google Street View. And so something that's being newly renovated, you can't usually see or get a good indication of what's happening um, on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So like I, I've, when I go downtown, I'm able to see it, but what I can remember in my mind and, and put onto the, into the game is not going to be a completely accurate representation. So we're sort of stuck waiting for them to finish um, the Union Station, but it would be a good area to maybe start working on. I'm not really sure, but we have anyways, we have a lot of stuff on the to-do list. Uh, to finish up before we start planning new things but um, this was just a cool little thing like I said we're not done the Fairmont yet so I couldn't do that video and I wanted to make sure I got a building Toronto video out to you guys so this was a cool little archive video that we've had for a year uh, the Starbound I asked him if he had it still and he did thankfully and, and so I thought I'd show you guys this cool little racing stuff we had in Toronto and if this is something you guys want to like do again you think it'd be fun to host some community events in uh, in Toronto we've had fireworks shows we've had tank fights obviously not in the town or not in the city uh, we've had the boat races, we had the car races. So we've had some pretty fun events. Uh, we had a boxing match up on the top of uh, the TD Tower in Brookfield Place. Um, so yeah, if, if there are events you guys want to do, be sure to recommend them in the comments down below and we can see if we can get those set up uh, for you guys to, to join. Um, that is it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out the Building Toronto playlist where I showcase all the builds that I've done uh, so far in the city. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed, be sure to also hit that subscribe button uh, for more good content. And if you're a returning viewer, uh, be sure to leave a like and share the channel with some of your friends uh, so that we can continue to grow the community. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been a Minecraft Building Toronto's Extras video. My name is Game Fruit Pulp. I will catch you guys all next time. Have a good one.